Hi guys, Android Andy here. I'm going to show you today a rather cool, well, I don't know if it's cool, but a very useful to-do list manager called Trello. Trello, organize anything together. I'll turn it to logging, because I think I've already signed up. So you basically can, you can, oh. Maybe I hadn't done. Let's see. There we go, new account created. So I've logged in using my Gmail account basically. You can just sign up with an email account. Um, so when you log in, there it is, my boards, how to use Trello for Android. So I'm going to go in, we've got basically you get different, this is a board, um, each little thing here is a card, and what are they called, lists? Let me check what it says here, add lists, I can add different lists. So you get, we're on a board, we've got lists, and on the list we have cards. So tap on a card to open it up. Uh, they're all kind of cool stuff here, plus menu. So basically I can add things to it, like a like a checklist, as we can see the one there. People that are responsible for something, if I'm on an, in an organization. I can attach a photo. I, we'll show that in a moment, I suppose. I'll just show what they've got here. So add label, set a due date. So you can basically tick things off on your on your to-do list as you go. Then I'm going to say, okay, I'm, I'm saving that there, and I come back out to my to-do list. Oh, and it still says one out of eight. Why does it say that? Maybe it just hadn't updated. Hmm, still only says, I thought that should change to four out of eight, to be honest. So I'm not quite sure why it hasn't done. There it is now. I think it did just need to sort of refresh. Um, if so, I mean, most people would have like a to-do a doing and a done perhaps, something like that. Um, if I wanted to move a card from one to another, that's fairly simple, look, boom. If I wanted to perhaps delete a card, I can just go straight in and delete it there, look, delete. If I wanted to archive it, go there, I can get to, I think, I forget how on this now, where's it gone? I thought there should be a silence, or is it just over here? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't used Trello on, on the Android for a little while. I'm using it on my iPad at work, and I thought there was a sidebar, maybe the screen's too small for it. Um, and the sidebar meant you could access archived cards. So let's say we're gonna make, we're gonna make a new, it's gonna be called To Do, oopsie. Ah. Uh, to do add so I've got a new list called to do I'm going to add a card and it's going to say clean keyboard add so I've now made my own card I'm going to go into it I'm going to say attach I'm going to take a photo I'm going to take a photo of one second So I've taken a photo of my keyboard, I'm going to tick. And then I'm going to say, I need to have done this by Wednesday the 14th. I can add a time to that look if I want. Five in the morning. Let's not go there quite that early. 9.30 in the morning, that's better. I'm done. So that's now my card look. It tells me I added a photo just now. Um, I'll come back out. And there is my card, clean keyboard, and there's a picture of my keyboard um, to do. So then I might have, oh, done, I'm done editing. Then I might have a list that's called done. And when I've done it, I can move it over from one to the other. Now, so far, you kind of think, okay, well, it looks okay. It's reasonably useful. I, you know, you might like that you can add the pictures to things. Oh, you can color code, as it says, look, you can color code things changing... Uh, you can add specific labels, it might be sort of tech, um, to do, I don't know, what you want to, whatever you'd want to call it, cleaning, um, don't forget, whatever, and you can just, you can add different, different colours to that card, as you see along the top. Um, so, now, share boarding. It actually comes in much, much easier, perhaps, when we switch over to the browser version 
but uh, basically you can invite people, as it says there, tap on the board and interview so you can invite people to join your board. Let's have a quick look at the browser. So we're in the browser, I'm going to click on login, I'm going to say with my Google account, it's going to say can I do this and that, yeah you can. How to use Trello. So boards I can somehow, somewhere, make you know, a plus sign new board or a new organization more importantly. So organization, yeah, test, that's fine. Create. So here it is. This would be like your business, this might be your place of work, uh, members, just little on me, but you can add people. So you send, put someone's email address in, um, it will email them the invite. They can then come and join your organization. You can then make boards within your organization. So I'm going to say new board, organization test, and this is going to be literally called new board. So there's a to do, doing, and done. Uh, members, just me at the minute. But again, add members. When you've got people in your organization, you get options to show all those people, and you can select, right, put this person on this board, this person on this board. So if your business is separated into different areas or sections, it's quite handy. You can add just the relevant people to these boards. Um, I should point out as well, if I go back to my how to use... Did I, did I get rid of my clean keyboard? I can't remember. No, there it is. Look, done. So there's my clean keyboard. When I go into that, I can see that three minutes ago has moved from to do to done. So again, in a business situation, that's very handy. You can see who, so in this case me, said that it's done and how long ago they said it was done. So if you're following up on something to see whether it's been done properly, I would go and find me and I would check if it's done. I said, why did you, three minutes ago, you said it was done and clearly it isn't done. Um, so that's kind of handy. Let's go back to, how do I get back to my organization? There we go. So again, new board, board two, and I put that in the test organization. I can click on test there. So here are my two boards now. So the what I think the fantastic thing is, when I add a card, that appears almost instantly to anyone else that might have this app open on their iPad, on their phone, that's in this, you know, that has access to this board. Um, so it just means working in groups or as a team becomes, I think, very handy with great communication. Um, you can look about with your profile, put pictures in and this, that, and the other. We're not really too worried about that. Back to my test organization. So there you go. I don't know, I don't know that I've done a very good job of explaining that, to be honest, but uh, hopefully you can understand the the sort of benefits of such a, um, a team-based to-do list. Basically, ha give it a look, give it a look, have a play. It is free. You, in theory, can pay to go gold, but if you invite lots of people to your organization via their email, you get given like a free month of gold use. Anyway, so I've got about 10 months of free gold use. Um, as you can see, the business class, wow. That's, uh, that's rather expensive. So, but you know, they need to have somewhere to make them money. Everything else is free. We've been using this at work for free for a long time. Um, so, as I say, hopefully I've shown, you know, if you can imagine with 10 people having access to one to-do list, um, it might sound a bit crazy and that's going to get very hectic, but because you can see exactly who's done what each time and when they did it, um, it makes it quite easy to track down if someone's monkeying about, basically. So there you go. Trello is free on the Android App Store. There are um, iOS versions as well. So again, if your organization has different uh, you know, phone users, which I'm sure it does, don't worry, everyone should be able to use it. Maybe apart from Windows Phone, I think I had to find it something else. It was called something similar to Trello. It was a Trello client, but it wasn't official. Um, I suppose actually just to show you then, on, on the phone, if I come back out, I'm going to come all the way out just to make it sort of hopefully make it refresh and then I'm going to come back in. So there are the two boards that I just made, board two and new board and if I go into board two and I just I just mash on the keyboard there so I think we've got one on each of the, so I think I did do one on there didn't I? Yep, so new card is there look. I'm going to come out and look at board two and there it is already if you can see. You just, you just, you 
And again, if I tap on it, I can see that Andy added you just you could you to, to do just now. So they, they sync very quickly um, and it just is really a useful application. There you go. Uh, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.